NBN News with Adam McCurry and Natasha Bayersdorf. Good evening. Also tonight, Roger Federer hailed as the greatest tennis player ever after winning his 14th Grand Slam and first French Open. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and President George W. Bush have launched a new era of Australian-American relations with a 90-minute meeting in Washington. The President also backed the Rudd government's planned withdrawal of troops from Iraq, describing it as a sign of success. As if it needed any more problems right now, the NRL has become caught up in the swine flu crisis. A number of State of Origin stars is in quarantine, including New South Wales captain Kurt Gidley, while two have been withdrawn from tonight's game between the Dragons and the Titans. There are real fears the whole competition will be affected. Mike Rabbit joins us now for a look at sport. And Mike, Roger Federer has gone from tennis champion to tennis legend. Yeah, he's even done what Pete Sampras couldn't do, Adam. Well, great day for it. And on that sporting flavour, Adam McKilrick joins us now and it's getting close in the cricket. Very exciting, Mel. Fingers crossed. Yes, to the ashes and a resurgent Australia is poised to square the series later tonight, our time. Clint Stanaway is in Leeds and has the latest. And Bar Beach surfer Jake Sylvester has cemented his place among the world's best pro juniors. At just 15, he won the under-18 National Qualifying Series title at Manly. He'll now join pro junior champions from other countries at the World Final in California next month. And Mel Curry's Chad Reed has nabbed his 100th podium finish in Florida, where he finished second but still leads the Supercross Series by five points with two weeks to go to the next round. He's a champion. Doing well. Thanks, Adam. Finally tonight, meet Bazooka, heading down the pathway at this Japanese park, looking for adventure and whatever comes his way. Would you believe this guy is born to be wild? Bazooka is a bulldog who's on a roll when it comes to skateboarding. He's more into cool cruising than tricks, but he has a nasty rail grab. So nasty, he's managed to chew through 14 boards. Bazooka's master, Ishii, claims his hound simply taught himself. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's very clever, though. Bizarre. You're up to the date with the latest news now from NBN. The very latest. We leave you now with shots of whales frolicking off Newcastle today. From all of us here, have a great night. Good night. Hello, Adam McKilrick with you. There's breaking news out of Newcastle this morning where a bulk carrier, the Pasha Bulka, has been dragged ashore by the rough sea. Do they have any idea when they think they might be able to refloat the, the carrier? Well, Lisa, at the moment, that's like asking how long's a piece of string. They really don't know. As I said before, they really want to make sure that it's done safely, not quickly. At the moment, uh, the, the streets are gridlocked, even in the morning. In the middle of winter, it seems that the place is, uh, the beach is the place to be. Now, the kiosk is doing a roaring trade. It's, uh, I suppose it's never seen business quite like this. And for the latest, we're joined by NBN News reporter Adam McKilrick. Adam, what's the latest? Good morning, Lisa. Well, I can tell you that the Pasha Balka is still here. Yes, we can confirm that and it's not going anywhere in a hurry. Now, the salvage crew remains on board and it has been there all night. We can tell you that power has been restored to the vessel. In cross-examination, the defence referred to three separate statements made by the witness between December 2007 and September the following year. The defence then questioned why certain allegations were left out of his original version of events. Despite these concerns, the Health Services Union admits the Hunter New England area is one of the state's better performers. Nevertheless, stop work rallies are planned for Tamworth on Wednesday, followed by Maitland and the John Hunter Hospital on Thursday. There's another issue at play here and according to the Lord Mayor it has wider implications. He's now questioning the relevance of state and local planning procedures following the Commonwealth's decision. Given the amount of rain recently in this part of the Hunter Valley, the 2009 harvest has been given a head start, with enough moisture in the soil to carry the vines through the next harvest. In somewhat of a package deal, Dr George's wife is a gynaecologist, and when they arrive in Tamworth, there'll be a job waiting for her as well. Adam McKilrick, NBN News.